G'day everyone, in today's video we're going to have a glimpse of our master strategy of how we buy websites for profit. Now this is the same strategy that we use ourselves, that all our students use and that we teach in our program Digital Investors, which by the way you can check out on our website. But what we want to go through is show you how we buy passive websites or as passive as possible and how we keep safe. We, we, take, we, we start everyone out, especially if you're a total beginner, with small little baby steps and work through to building bigger sites so that you can get that cash flow and maybe retire or work from home or quit your job. Whatever, whatever your goal is. So let's have a look at our master strategy and how we go into the marketplace. Because it is a little bit different, I think, than um, a lot of people. When, whenever we buy a website, we're very, very clear about what this website, why we're buying a particular mm -hmm. website, what we want it to do, and how it fits with our big picture goals. And for a lot of people, and you might be, for most people who join us, the first uh, kind of stepping stone to freedom is cash flow. They mm -hmm. want the cash flow. They want, so in the end goal, they do want those assets, those long term, you know, um, assets that are going to be worth a lot that they could sell for a big lump sum later on when they wanted it. But initially, for most people, it's mm -hmm. cash flow. So let's have a look at the strategy and how this works for cash flow. So step number one of our master strategy is buying smart. And part of that is actually, like I said, going in with this idea of, okay, why am I buying this website? How does it fit with my overall strategy? What do I really want out of this particular asset? Um, now to do that, it's very similar actually to buying property. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of parallels between buying websites and buying property. So well, if you've ever done any property investing before, um, you'll recognize the sort of things that we're doing, the things that we're looking for when we're looking for a website investment. Because especially for the sorts of sites that we buy, mm. so we, we buy content sites, you may have seen that on some of our other videos, and the, the, our basic plan is, just like with property, we buy, we renovate, and we hold for the cash flow. Mm. Or we, we might sell, but we're not website flippers. But basically we're looking for so simple sites that we can know we can renovate and add value to. That, yeah. and, but we're not talking <laughs> restumping the house or, or a massive big renovation like when you buy a property. Ideally it's that coat of paint, tidy up the front yard, tidy up the, the most things. It's kind of the 80-20 rule. Just do simple stuff that, yeah. that moves the needle for you on the, on the website. So that's what we're looking for. Part of that buying smart mm -hmm. is really understanding, okay, finding, how do I find a website where I can do small things that make a massive difference? And the reason that we do that, it's the same as in property. So when you buy a house or a flat or an apartment, if you can get if you can do a quick tidy up that doesn't cost too much that costs just a bit of paint and a bit of time then and then that means you can get more rent for that property it means that not only are you getting more cash flow so you're able to pay that property back faster it also means you increase the value because most of all investments part of their valuation is about how much money are they making because the more money they make, the more valuable they are, and the more someone else, a buyer, is willing to pay for them. So that's why we're doing that. We're finding these websites where we can do these quick and easy renos and get those incomes up because we want to pay it back to ourselves as quickly as possible. Because you think about it, if you buy a website for $10,000 and it's making $500 a month, and if we double that income, so it's making $1,000 a month, so ten thousand or twelve thousand dollars a year in one year we've mm. paid we basically paid that asset back to ourselves and at that point going forward our risk is you know, pretty much zero no matter what happens that cash flow asset sitting there throwing out cash flow and it, whether it goes up whether it goes down it actually becomes less important so there's a lot less stress involved when Absolutely. you get to that point and i think that's something else that's really important in part of our strategy is let's do this as stress-free and debt-free as possible and if you think about it not only is the asset paid off mm. it's an asset 
Yeah, you still the, own the, it. It's yeah. gone up exponentially in value yeah. because now that thirty, the, the three times multiplier mm. has compounded the value of that asset for you in your portfolio. So yes, yeah, step number one is buying smart. Buying smart. And so the things involved, yeah. Can I throw in, yeah, can like, I throw in so two valuation, other, need I'll, to know how much okay. they're worth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what you're going to say. Yeah. Just, because <laughs> we go. need to explain what is buying. I'm sitting here going, oh, oh come what on. Is buying this is, because this is the mistake that we made when we first got into business. Mm. We did not buy smart. We didn't know how to value businesses and we made lots of mistakes. We didn't know how to do due diligence because we don't come from a business background. We had to learn all this stuff ourselves. And with websites, of course, there's certain things you need to look at and understand. So buying smart is, big part of that is understanding how to value the website that you're buying. Mm -hmm. You need to understand how to do due diligence and you can check out our free masterclass and see some of the lessons that we've got around uh, mm. the sorts of things we yeah. look at for them. We, and we'll do another video on that as well, yeah. on how to do website due diligence. Mm. And then the other thing that you want to be looking for in buying smart is the concepts that Liz just talked about and that we're meant, talking about here, we're looking for sites that we can renovate. So really part of buying smart is understanding the process of finding diamonds in the rough. We all like bargains, right? Mm. So it's not about getting a bargain price it's about finding diamonds in the rough. Websites that you know have been neglected or just, or you can see a renovation opportunity. And whether the market's rising like it is at the moment or mm. going down or sideways or whatever, you think about real estate, if you've invested in real estate, there's always opportunities out there to mm. find properties that you can add value to. That's the other part of buying smart, learning how to recognize the opportunities and the diamonds in the rough. Yeah, perfect. And some of our students, you, some of the, the amazing <laughs> oh, renovations and so, so, for instance, they will buy websites. We have um, students that have well, bought he, websites. Lucy Gary's is probably the best. I love their example. They which, bought which one? Um, They've had the first <laughs> big website they bought. So Matt didn't let them buy a web, big website. For right. <laughs> He made them practice on small websites. When they were ready, um, off they went into the marketplace and they knew how to do due diligence. And they bought this website for, it was for uh, $20,000. Yep. It was a biggie, like for them, like that next step up from doing under a thousand, they went to a $20,000 website. And um, they renovated that website and it was making $13,000 a month within a few months and, and it's just like oh. i would like to say <laughs> uh, i hats off to lucy and gary yeah, what they were really awesome. good at is this first step in yeah. buying smart Recognizing so, the opportunity. because i made gary <laughs> if you ever meet him at one of our events stick to buying simple little websites under two hundred dollars for a whole 12 months can you imagine a go-getter like <laughs> someone like gary just being not being allowed to buy a website bigger than two hundred dollars we all laugh about it now but it made a huge difference because they recognized that the story behind them when they bought that site they'd done so much website due diligence on all these websites out there when they saw that one they knew instantly that it was a site they could renovate and the rest is history as they say now another a great example of buying smart you don't so, do that to people anymore do you? no no well, i've changed my i've changed my mentoring methods now i, I let people go for go a little bit ready. quicker but but um, let's see, I'm a slow and steady, build wealth um, consistently and safely. That's, that's if you want to go fast, my, you talk to me. Yeah, if you want to go fast, <laughs> that's right. You, you get Liz as, you, as a coach. Um, so that, the other great example though, here's a really simple example because you've probably heard we, we buy content sites. So a lot of our students find sites that are selling, um, I think of Samar's example, she bought a site for $1,000. It had over 460 articles on the website. Now. Someone that doesn't know websites might not see the value in it, and no one else bid on that website. But mm. 460 articles, most articles cost these days anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30 dollars. So, even at 10 dollars an article, 460 articles, you are looking at four and a half grand's worth just of content. So, it and now that site, it, it people didn't notice it, yeah. but Sam, I just think, thought, hang on, the the, the content alone is worth a fortune here and it's possibly worth more than that. So this is what we're talking about buying smart. When you understand this game, it's mm -hmm. just like if you've done property or, or traditional bricks and mortar businesses, this is when it gets really exciting. This is where a bit of knowledge, a bit of digital education, seriously, is probably the best investment you can make in yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, our next step, let's jump yeah, into that. Yeah, so buying smart, that's a few of buying the smart. elements of yep. buying smart. And of course, it's, it is that old saying, you make your money when you buy. So it is worth learning how to buy well. Um, and of course, we have a whole lot of other things around the buying and about the strategy of what sort of sites and what we're looking for and all that like due diligence. 
The next step then is the renovation. So as we saw, we're looking for these diamonds in the rough, mm -hmm. then, then we're going in. And even if it's not a diamond in the rough, even if it's a good solid website, we're always looking to see how can we improve it? How can we increase the cash flows relatively quickly with the least amount of work, with the least amount of effort and, and investment. And so the renovation part, we focus on three things and um, you'll learn more if you sign up for the masterclass, we go into a bit more detail about those three things. Um, so there's three elements of a website where we focus our attention uh, to get those, to, it's like the dials of a business. Yeah, and, yeah, that's a good point. In yeah. a website, there's three key things that yeah. we focus on, yeah. which we learned from bricks and mortar businesses, but it, it, it's accelerated online, it's yeah. a lot easier. So. First of all, we want to look at, okay, for all the people that are coming to the website, we want as many of those people to buy or take an action that makes us money as possible. So that's the conversion. So we make sure that uh, there's really simple things, just layout sort of things or moving um, ads around, doing just quite simple stuff to make sure that people find the offer and that they actually click on it or take, a, take that offer up or click on an ad, whatever it is. I, I want to jump in there, really important, because most people who are beginners don't realize there's a, we take this stuff for granted, right? Mm. This is just sitting there going, oh, we fix up the conversions. That's a massive, massive renovation opportunity because there are so many people out there in the world that build these beautiful websites, but they don't really know what they're doing. They don't know how to monetize them and they're passionate about them. So that's part of buying smart. We buy what we call passion sites. And the great thing about those is, People have them for years, they run them, but they don't know how to monetize. So we come along or our students come along and just go, oh, I know how to get the conversions up. I just move this ad here. I put a better monetization method on here. Next thing you know, you've doubled the profit. So what I want to point out there is when, you, when you've got a bit of knowledge, like I was saying earlier, this is literally, that conversion thing is probably the easiest thing to fix on a website literally within, I don't know, a week or so. You can, or it, for hours. us, we did it within hours. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, that, that's a really easy win. So number one, that was conversions. Then we look at the profit. So we look at the monetization, how the website's making the money, and can we improve that? Because there are often, we can add extra monetization, or we can change the program, the affiliate program, or the advertising program, and double incomes, or increase incomes by 50%, 20 to 50%, just by asking a question, just by changing a link. So there's, there, there's some really, uh, leveraged ways to do that. And then the third thing, of course, is we want more traffic. Once we've fixed up the conversions of the profit, yeah. then we just need to get more people My coming favorite. to the website. And for most, for our websites, because they're content based, it just means adding more content in essence. That's the, that's the essence of what we do. And what we want to point out there too is, Good quality. I remember when I first got online, I, I wasn't the best at English at school, let's just say that. <laughs> it wasn't my strong subject. I was good at science, but not English. And I, I've got to admit, I had a lot of fear around uh, having, thinking, oh, you've got to write and do all that sort of stuff because of the kind of sites we like buying. But the good news is there's a lot, it turns out, surprise, surprise, there's a lot of smart people in the world who can write better than Matt can. Really? And so we just hire them. <laughs> you can go to places, go and check out Upwork or Freelancer or Fiverr. You can find writers like I said earlier, who will write you articles for mm. 10 to 20 to $30 when we want really, really good articles in the Health Nation stuff, we might pay $60 an article. But the good news is this can be outsourced. So of course, what we do is, and we talked about it in an earlier video, we're compounding, this is how we compound our money from these websites because every dollar we make off the website in say the first year, we reinvest back into the website in the form of content and tidying up the site. And like Liz said, the Really, that's the ongoing, that's kind of the bottleneck really, or, or the main work to do on a website once you've done the first bit. The first yeah. bit of the reno is really quick and easy, the, the profits and the conversions, and then it's just getting that traffic up with ongoing content. And good news is, like I was saying, that can be outsourced, so don't freak out if you don't know how to write good articles. Yes. So there's the three things. So there's, so we buy smart, we renovate fast, then what we look at is building the portfolio. So ideally, we're mm. very much, we're safety investors. We are very much diversification investors. Yep. So in all the things that we invest in, shares, property, um, websites, we, we tend to have a portfolio because we, uh, 
uh, we like the safety of a portfolio um, going forward. You know, one income, that's the dangerous, that's the most dangerous spot to be. <laughs> one job for one many job, of you listening to this on One investment, um, yep. only one property as your main source of like store of wealth. Oh, one form of cash flow in your life. Mm. Very dangerous in this day in and this age. Day and we, age. We, are, we were taught many, many years ago, multiple streams of income yeah. create. And that was always our goal. Remember when we first started going out together and we learned that concept. Yep. And ever since then, we've been on that journey, multiple streams of income. If we look back over our business career, we were never satisfied just owning one business, we bought and sold multiple businesses. So. I think that, well, because I did see a lot of, like you do read the stories of a lot of very wealthy people, but they've had to sacrifice a lot mm, to get true. there. And the end, they've had to have singular focus and faith in one business for many, many years. And there's, for all the entrepreneurs that make it and make the tens of millions, there's thousands who don't, and mm. I didn't want to be that. Like I call it a baked beans millionaire, having mm. to live on baked beans for 10 years in order to make a million dollars or more. I, no. And let, <laughs> so, so our strategy was, okay, let's diversify, let's have multiple forms of cash flow and build that cash flow over time and build up the assets. So the more cash flow that comes in, the more those assets are worth. So, so let just me to show, give you an example, that's well, how we do it. That's, that's and, our portfolio strategy. Yeah, so let, let, I'm just thinking there, um, let me share with you a simple plan, a simple strategy for a website portfolio, and let's call it a passive website portfolio, a typical passive website portfolio yeah. that will generate you, probably replace your income, let's say okay, 100K. A month off, yeah. So as Liz said, you can, people focus singly on one business, here's how we've done it. We buy, and is what we teach, we buy a range of simple websites, but we keep the risk low by buying relatively small websites. So in the early days, we did used to buy much, much bigger websites, six figure and above. These days, our believe it or not, our preference is to buy websites under 100K or under 50K. Mm -hmm. And if you're just starting out, we highly recommend you just buy a range of websites. And the goal is, not every website's gonna work, you've gotta understand that, but the goal is to have 10, 10 fairly websites. good solid websites that are ticking along. And if you do the numbers on 10 websites, we look at monthly incomes, you can even buy quite small ones like under $2,000, under $1,000, mm -hmm. renovate them, and you get them up to making two or $300 a month. Doesn't sound month, March. Let's think it through though, if you own 10 of those, so you have a couple that make a couple hundred dollars a month, mm -hmm. you have a couple that make a couple of grand a month, and then you have a couple that might make you anywhere from 5,000 to, or maybe even just $5,000 a month. There's your portfolio of websites that for most people replace will replace income. their incomes. And here's the other good news, with this whole process of learning how to make money online and through buying these websites, what we say to our students is, once you've learned, it, the, your only bottleneck really is the knowledge. Because mm. most people are total beginners coming to this and yeah. I'm guessing you are listening to this, you, you probably never made money online before or not made a lot of money online. What you've got to think about is, you've just got to get the knowledge to make your first milestone, believe it or not, is your first dollar mm -hmm. while you sleep. Yep. Okay, and that is an exciting, if you speak to anyone at our you events, go, yeah. you will see, we've got multimillionaires that come <laughs> from other industries that come and do our course, and they send us emails and they go, Matt, I just made um, $13 last night while I slept off my first passive website. It is awesome. It's better than all the money I made last year. It's, it's just because it makes it real for them. So your first milestone is making some passive money while you sleep. First, it can be 10 bucks or whatever, but then your biggest um, milestone goal. that you really want to get to is when you get to earning a thousand dollars a month online you've pretty much got it sorted per, because, month, yeah. per month sorry because that means you've probably got the knowledge at that point and so then you just repeat that another nine times and that can be th what we recommend is through a nice safe portfolio of websites that you buy you can keep the risk quite low so you can still be working in your high paying job or whatever but you can be building up these assets that are cash machines. Once you've got that knowledge to get that first thousand dollars a month, mm. and this is what a lot of our students do, they'll buy bigger sites, but we're not, they might buy $5,000 websites. Of course, we've got students that'll buy much bigger sites. They'll buy $50,000 websites or a couple of hundred grand, depending on your money. But when you're starting out, it's a fantastic goal that works really well. And again, I want to reiterate, at small numbers, what Liz and I found, we owned manufacturing businesses, exactly the same thing. We used to sell little widgets for a couple of dollars. Doesn't look that exciting. You sell 
uh, 20 to 50,000 of them, all of a sudden those little numbers turn into big numbers. And with websites, it's awesome. It's so much easier because it's leverage. It's 24 seven, this stuff's selling, you're getting ad income coming off. Well, those little dollars quickly add up. So 10 websites, a range of incomes off each website, don't need that much to generate a big income. And look at Mark, you know, 50 yeah. grand, and he's invested $50,000 into websites. He now makes 10 to 20 grand a month, plus has a portfolio now worth over half a million dollars from buying relatively small websites, doing exactly what I've just said. Yeah, so we've got a really amazing opportunity in the marketplace right now because we have a lot of growth and there's so much more growth to come. We're really excited about the coming five to Absolutely. 10 years because it's only going to get bigger. So there you go. That's our strategy for buying websites for profit. And hopefully that gives you some inspiration and gets you out there. So if you do want to learn a bit more, um, join up for our masterclass because we go through in more detail about how do we do this and how does this all come together? Uh, we also talk about selling websites and when you want that lump sum, how do you set up websites to get the maximum price when you sell as well? Because that's the other bonus of this. You're building yourself assets as well as that cash flow income. So enjoy guys, and um, if you want to look up, there, we've got lots of videos here on YouTube with our student success stories, and so it's really good to have a look at those mm. and see how other people have Absolutely. done it, because everybody on this journey does it in a different way, so that's really inspiring too.